What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Sony Vegas. Right now I'm just in Movie Studio Platinum, uh, th but it's the same thing for Vegas. So yeah, before this video starts, uh, at any time in this video, if you like it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for future uh, tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to be going over is the properties. Uh, this is right here. And then make sure these are your settings that you want. You can either do 1080p, uh, 29 frames a second, um, 720, 60. Like you have all these different options that you can do. Um, I like 1080p, 60 frames a second the best. But just this is just for viewing back and stuff. So I usually just leave it here. Um, frame rate, 60 frames a second. And yeah, just save this. You can push the little save button right there. And then apply. Okay. So yeah, that's the properties. The next thing is going to be importing media. This is really easy. All you have to do is just find your clip on your desktop and just click it and drag it into this big box up here. Just let go and it'll show up here. So when you have this uh, up here, what you want to do is click it and drag it down to here. Um, so yeah, this is where you edit your clip. This is where you view back your clip. And this is where all your media is. These are your tracks. So you can have video tracks, video overlays, text, music, and sound effects. These all come, these all open up automatically. Sometimes in Vegas, like as soon as you import a clip, that's when the video track shows up. But for my software, this is what shows up all the time. So there's a couple buttons over here. We're going to be going over these later in the walkthrough. So right now we're going to be doing some keyboard shortcuts. So one that you're going to be using a lot is S. This splits the clip up. So you can have as many like different parts of the clip as you want. The next thing is making slow motion. This is where you hold down control and then you hover around the edge of the clip. You'll see that little squiggly line under the mouse. All you have to do is just click down and drag out and you'll have a slow motion clip. So yeah, make sure you film at 60 frames a second if you'll be doing any slow motion. The next thing is just the space bar. This plays the clip. If you hit the space bar again, it goes back to the vertical black line where you started. This can be useful for if you're trying to just render a clip and put it in your RAM. So yeah, that it just goes back to your original spot. If you push the space bar, then you push enter. The cursor stops right where you push enter. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. The next thing is control Z. This uh, un like it's undo, so you can undo one of the changes you made. Control Y is redo, so you basically redo one of the changes you made. The next thing I'm gonna go over is this little tool right here called the Event Pan Crop Tool. If you click this, it brings up this window right here. Uh, one of the common mistakes is people don't have this right here, the sync cursor. They don't have that checked, and what that does is syncs this cursor with this cursor, so you can make keyframes, which I'll go over right now. So say you want to zoom in from right here to the end. What you do is you go to the end of it, uh, where you want to end zooming in, and then you go down to the corner here, you drag in, and then it makes a little keyframe right here. You can move this keyframe around, say I want it in the middle. What it does is uh, zooms in the video. Another tool is over here. This is the track motion tool. It is very similar to the pan event crop tool, but it does the whole track, not just the video. So say like we uh, zoom this out so it's really small. Like say you're putting it over a video, the whole track, um, it, this little keyframe is made right here. You got to drag it to the beginning and then the whole track is that size. So yeah. Next thing is um, this button right here, the track effects. We're not going to be going over this because this is really not a, a very used tool. This is for color correction and that kind of thing. But I just use, if you right click and go up to video event effects, that's what I use. I'll be going over that in a little bit. The next tool is the mute. This just makes it so your track is muted if you don't want to see this when you're playing back the video. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, the next thing, solo. It makes only this track go, so yeah. The next is 
compositing mode. You're probably not going to want to use this very much. It's for like all kinds of different stuff. Like my software is limited right now. I only have like two options here, but in Vegas you have a lot more options. In this, um, no one uses this. <laughs> Okay, so back to the video effects. This is a pretty important part of Vegas. A lot, a lot of people use this because they love the effect. So there's all kinds of different things you can choose from. Um, they all work really good and they're really nice, but it's just kind of hard to play it back if you don't have a very good graphics card. So you have to make sure you have a really nice graphics card if you're going to be playing back these. So what you do, so let's just choose something random. Let's do uh, Sony TV Simulator. Just double click that. Okay. Then it brings up this, and then your TV simulators over here. You can do all kinds of different uh, things, but this is your main video event effects editor. So you basically get to choose all the different things you want to change in the effect. Uh, it's really clean. I really like this, and they did a really good job with this. So there's also this little button down here, animate. Animations are basically where you use keyframes. So yeah, I'm not going to be going over that. It's pretty simple. Just You just move something and it makes the keyframe right there. Move it up. So you can change things over time. That's what animating is. You're just changing it over time. So the next thing is going to be audio effects. Um, I don't have any audio tracks in here. Um, I'll just uh, no, uh, put in random audio track in here just a Pink Floyd song good song just saying um, what you do is go down to the track effects this is where you have these three main um, like uh, different um, can't think of the word this, these are the different effects that you use so you have the track EQ track compressor and track noise gate um, they're kinda complicated but you really need to go in depth on how to learn how to use these like the normal thing I do just kind of looks like this if you're doing the track equalizer this is good for vocals track compressor you can either mess with all of these or you can just use one of the presets here um, in a noise gate I usually just use one of the presets that's fine for me but you can really go in depth for those there's a lot of different stuff you can do last thing is gonna be rendering so you might see this little yellow thing right here this thing is so annoying. I wish they could just get rid of this, but sometimes like when you drag over here and like try to drag a clip but you miss and it does that, this is what's going to render. So you better like you but you got to pay attention to where that is. You can either have this throughout like your whole clip that you want to render so you want to render that or you could just um put it like th um like this and it just renders everything this way. So that's how you do that and then to render you push make a movie save to my hard drive and then you can change the name to whatever you want and then down here you have all sorts of different stuff some of them work better than others I found out internet 1920 by 1080 30 frames a second this is the best one I love this one all you have to do is just uh, customize template and then go down here do what frame rate you want and then okay and just push render that's all you have to do so that concludes this whole tutorial or walkthrough kind of thing of Vegas uh, if you liked it make sure you leave a like and subscribe it really helps me out and likes help my videos get to more people so yeah make sure you leave a comment if you have any more questions and I'll see you guys next time